Whether you're a stand-up comedian or maybe you're a sound mixer or a picture editor, that you're going to come across a part where a bit doesn't land or the comic bombs. Maybe you're the comic and you bombed and you want to salvage the performance. And it's maybe not that the jokes weren't funny, but maybe the audience, you know, they weren't ready for it or whatever. So you got to add a laugh track to your content and it sucks. Nobody likes it. I mean, it's been going on for years. Um, but there's a really cool tool I kind of stumbled on called Croto Studio Pro and I've been testing it and trying to figure out how I can use it for sound design and actually specifically for crowds uh, and specifically for laugh tracks, it's really good. So I've got a bunch of corny jokes here. Um, I wrote some of them. Some of them are not my content and uh, they're, you know, not very funny. But I'm going to show you the difference that a good laugh track can make with a joke. And, and unlike a lot of people, so-called influencers who like to hold tiny little lavalier mics, the DJI mic, no, dude, clip it to your body. But comics hold a mic. So instead of holding a little cheap, you know, two, $300 mic, I've got my $1,600 Sennheiser that I'm going to hold for my whole bit. Give me the, the, uh, real, you know, stand up comedian. It's not an SM58, but it's a little, little better quality. I think. Wait a second. I probably need to show you how I set this up before I get to the terrible performance that's about to follow. In order to try and salvage this performance and make it somewhat land and Feel funny even if it's not, I need to create a laugh track. What I've done is here in Croto Studio Pro, they do have a laugh preset, but it's uh, it's not that great. So click on the little fader icon here and you can make your own patch with your own laughs. My laughs, I've you know been collecting them for years, so I know them pretty well, I know how to cut them, but it's way more fun to play them. And what I've done is I have a four axis performing pad here. And I also have some triggers. So if I uh, play C sharp number three on my keyboard, then we should get something. <laughs> that triggers kind of a chuckle. And then if I hit D three on my keyboard, it should give us a different kind of, uh, more of a bigger laugh. <laughs> so those are one shots I can use for, you know, like there's a joke and needs something quick, that's fine. Like you can do that with any sampler. But what's really cool is with Croto Studio Pro, you have a four axis uh, controller performer template, whatever you want to call it. They call it a performing template, but this has a Z, X, Y, and W axis. Once I hit play on this, uh, I'm gonna start playing around with where this puck is at and you'll hear kind of what it does. So all I'm going to do is in real time while I watch this terrible comedian try and make people laugh, I'm going to be playing with the puck and I'll do a screen capture for that. And then I'm also going to be um, doing the triggers here. I don't have the macros assigned to anything. I do kind of wish I could, I don't see how to make my own performing template. That would be kind of cool. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm doing this in DaVinci Resolve. It's kind of weird. I'm like looking at my timeline. It's very meta, you know, I'm looking at the timeline. I'm doing a screen capture and I'm going to be playing back what I've already edited. So it's a little weird and hopefully I get it right in one take, but you know, we'll see. Without further ado, let's get to the jokes. Audio Post Comedy Hour is recorded live in front, actually it's not recorded live, and it's not recorded in front of a studio audience. All laughter and applause and boos have been dubbed by Croto Studio Pro. And now to our host, Tommy B. I tell you, I get no respect in post, none at all. I mixed a whole feature last week. The director said it sounded fine on his laptop. His laptop, folks. I spent 10 hours on EQ and he's listening on a macaroni speaker. <laughs> you ever get turnover from picture editorial? They say it's locked. Yeah, locked like my ex-wife's heart. <laughs> Every time I open the session, it's a new cut. Who cut this, Edward Scissorhands? I love it when the picture editor says, I just made a few small trims. Cool. Why is your small trim a three frame cross dissolve into my nervous breakdown? <laughs> you ever mic up an actor and they're like, is this going to pick up my heartbeat? 
buddy, I wish. That'd be more consistent than your dialogue delivery. <laughs> ADR sessions are like therapy. The director's in the back saying, can we get one more with sincerity? And the actor's like, can we get one with less career regret? <laughs> I had a director ask if I could make a mix sound like Christopher Nolan. I said, sure, you want me to drop the dialogue 12 dB and add 24 dB of LFE? They said, perfect. I said, done. Congratulations, your student film now sounds like Tenet. <laughs> you ever deliver a mix and two weeks later get a note? Hey, can we try a version that's different? Sure, which part? All of it. Cool, let me travel back in time to the day before I took this job. <laughs> I tell your production sounds no different either. The boom op says, we'll fix it in post, buddy. The only thing we're fixing in post is your career. Had a day on set, quiet, emotional scene, actors crying, cameras are rolling, and just as he whispers, I love you, a Harley goes by revving like Satan's leaf blower. I tell you, I haven't heard that much racket since my mother-in-law found out I work for scale. You ever try to mic an actor who won't wear a laugh? They say it ruins the costume. So does your performance, sweetheart. ADR, now that's a trip. I say match your performance from set. They say, what performance? That one's not very good. <laughs> that one's not good at all. Oh man, some of these are so bad. And Pro Tools errors don't get me started. The video engine crashes more than my first marriage. <laughs> Speaking of errors, I saw assertion error the other day. And I thought, is this my therapist note? All right, I got a problem. In this part of the performance, the crowd is going to start getting upset. So I need to swap out all the samples. I like this setup with the axes being like idle, you know, medium, large, and then the trigger. So I, all I'm going to do is do a quick search of my sound library and start dragging and dropping my own sounds in there uh, because the, the Krotos boo is it's not as good as what I can build. On this one, I gotta pretend to loosen my tie, which I'm not wearing. And don't get me started on overly dynamic mixes, folks. I mean, what's the deal, huh? You got the dialogue at a whisper. You got the next second a boom. I'm scraping popcorn off the ceiling. You ever try watching one of those at night? You're writing that volume knob like it's a mechanical bullet Applebee's. Oh, okay, we got some cinematic purists in here, huh? Yeah, they love it dynamic. They say, it's meant to be experienced in a proper theater. Buddy, I'm on my couch at 2 a.m. eating Lay's potato chips. The theater's got a baby monitor and a dog that hates explosions. Don't boo me, boo the mix. I turn it up to hear the dialogue and suddenly the music comes in like Hans Zimmer's having a seizure on my soundbar. But you know what I absolutely love? Every streaming platform says our mixes meet broadcast loudness standards. Yeah, who's broadcast? The apocalypse? Oh, 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 and the dialogue. What is going on there? It's like everyone's auditioning to be Batman. We have to save the city. What? Speak up, Bruce. Night mode ain't doing crap for that one. And don't tell me it's artistic intent. If your intent is for me to read subtitles on an English movie, then congratulations. You're a poet, not a mixer. Oh, 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 now you're mad at me. You think I'm the problem. I'm the guy fighting for your eardrums, people. I'm in the trenches with compressors and limiters, begging the dialogue to stay just about minus 27 LKFS. I'm out here ducking explosions manually. They say, let the mix breathe. Well, maybe, just maybe, we should also let the audience breathe. Get off the stage. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, I don't come to your job and tell you how to ruin my night. I just fix it in post. You know, sometimes I even think about quitting sound altogether. But then I go to the movies and I hear a blockbuster with the dialogue 20 dB too low and I think, they need me. Anyway, folks, it's been great, but I gotta run. A client just sent me a new cut and said, it's just a couple little picture tweaks. And I am just so optimistic for that. Have a great night, everybody. 
Audio Post Live is filmed in beautiful small town America for Forlow Digital, a proud subsidiary of Boykin Industries, makers of fine plugins, questionable decisions, and world class audio tutorials. Until next time, folks, keep your dialogue hotter than your coffee.